Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Aaron Porras here with ILTV's Morning Brief. Although it was looking like there was a slowdown in coronavirus infections in Israel for the past two days, the country is now seeing a major jump in cases. More than 5,590 people have now been diagnosed with the coronavirus in Israel, an increase of 760 infections in just the last 24 hours. 97 people are now in serious condition and 76 are on ventilators. 226 have now recovered. But the death toll has now risen to 21 people across the nation. And the latest to pass away is a 98-year-old woman who had severe pre-existing conditions prior to contracting COVID-19. The IDF chief of staff, Aviv Kochavi, and two other top generals have tested negative for the coronavirus, though, from quarantine after coming into contact with a sick officer earlier this week. And the Israeli prime minister is also in self-quarantine himself, along with tens of thousands of Israelis. So what is the public sentiment surrounding the increased regulations and infections in Israel? Well, a team from Ben Gurion University has just conducted a survey with about 1,000 locals, and it seems like the Israeli public is increasingly anxious, but not panicking. Those who had a more positive perception of the Ministry of Health had less anxiety. And here's something to make those who are feeling more worried a bit better. Israel has just ranked in first place in health safety according to the COVID-19 Health Safety Countries ranking by the Deep Knowledge Group. Two more patients with COVID-19 have also now been confirmed in the Gaza Strip. This makes 12 in total officially. But both patients had reportedly been in quarantine since returning from Egypt, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. And their condition at the moment is said to be stable. The situation is still tense, though, in the densely packed territory. An outbreak among the over 2 million people living in the Strip, which had been struggling with medical and financial care since long before the coronavirus, would be absolutely catastrophic for Gaza and for Israel. So in efforts to minimize the spread, Gazan officials have been coordinating plans to keep citizens in their homes. Palestinian aid organization UNRWA, for one, has continued delivering food and supplies to the Strip. And in light of the danger of transmission, UNRWA has been delivering these supplies door to door rather than at distribution centers like before. Roughly 4,000 deliveries are being made every day, but that's not all. Hamas has also cut off nearly all crossings in and out of the Strip, has shut down weekly markets, wedding halls, cafes, mosques, and more, and has opened 18 additional treatment centers in clinics and hotels. Gas prices have plummeted by over 17% in Israel, reaching their lowest rate in 15 years amidst the coronavirus pandemic. But it looks like locals won't be able to really enjoy it because almost everybody is in lockdown. One liter of 95 octane gas at self-service now costs about $1.38. That's the lowest it's been since January 2005. And the price of a liter of gas in the beginning of 2020 in Israel was about $1.74. The energy ministry says that the dramatic price drop is part of the world issue. Petroleum has become significantly cheaper because of the coronavirus pandemic, which has brought global flights almost entirely to a halt and has limited car use. And get this, the price would have dropped even further if the United States dollar hadn't recently gained about 4.5% on the shekel. Still, gas prices are likely to rise again when the coronavirus crisis ends. Devastating news by Israel's Channel 12 has now been confirmed. In spite of orders to immediately enter quarantine upon arrival from countries like the United States, Spain, Italy, and France, no such action has been taken. So in response to the report, Prime Minister Netanyahu has now ordered the health ministry to take new arrivals into quarantine and uphold testing regulations. But it might be too little too late. Hundreds of travelers landing in Israel in just the past few days have simply been walking out of the doors of Ben Gurion International Airport. Passengers arriving from one flight from New York on Tuesday, for example, went through no temperature or wellness checks, no tests of any kind, and no direction to self-isolate or enter a quarantine hotel. So what happened to all the directives? Why weren't they followed? Well, Defense Minister Naftali Bennett admits that in spite of ordering all arrivals from particularly hard-hit areas like these to enter quarantine, his order was canceled in a later meeting hosted by Prime Minister Netanyahu. And it had been decided instead that returning Israeli arrivals would simply enter home isolation without undergoing tests until necessary. Experts, however, warn that this mismanagement could have catastrophic outcomes. Speaking in Channel 12's report, Former Health Ministry Chief Gabi Barabash says that everything we've achieved to date will be lost. It's intolerable. And he adds that Israel is now in danger of becoming a branch of New York, where roughly 1,600 people have already died, with another 75,000 infected so far. That's all for now, but for more news from Israel, remember to like ILTV on Facebook and on Instagram, and to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.